Hey guys, Jason the X for SC and Sly, powered by Cinelinks.com, and this is the figure review of the Transformers Powers of the Prime Dinobot Slug. Now our slag, if you want to go back to total G1, but you know, we don't say that. It's a bad word overseas. It's a bad word. Anyway, um, I'm happy to get Dinobots again. I know there's a lot of gripes on like the size of this figure and the combining gimmick, but honestly, it's not too different from G1 slag. And honestly, I like it. And I say, you know, uh, we'll say slug. We'll say slug. Want to be PC in this day and age. Anyway, let's go ahead and get slug out of the way. Just looks like a just a tank. I love that. Anyway, looking at the packaging, it's getting away from me. You got some nice uh, artwork. And I got to preview some of this at SDCC, and they sent us some press on it. I love this artwork. That's in there you go. Dinobot slug. A little bit of color difference there. You got some black, which we'll get into a little bit. On the side, you have uh, his combined mode with the other Dinobots and Grimlock. Which I forgot to do that in Dreadwind. I had to go back. There you go. A little bio. How will the hot-headed Dinobot warrior wield the power of the primes? It's hard reading this through the viewfinder, so I just, look, I just want to start to look over there. And there you see him plugged in with the fist boob thing. And there's some of that, some of that color uh, distortion I was talking about. Guys, welcome back into the side. Pretty nice, though. 12 easy steps, and yes, they are pretty darn easy steps. Now... Here he is in his, uh, <laughs> his Triceratops mode, and a lot of people, okay, here's where everybody have a problem with. If you transform him properly, these tabs go into his chest, and then he has no neck syndrome, no neck, just, just solid. And I did not like how this was flush, because everything I saw, even if you look at the imagery on the package, it looks like this is not, you know, flush with all of this. From that side, it looks like there is supposed to be more separation there. So, not sure what happened with that. Also, it looks like, well, uh, okay. I'm not gonna go there. You know, looks like they put some gold in the horn on here, and it's not present on the toy, but that's more just toy to promotional images aesthetics. But, um, my buddy, uh, David Willis. Over at Dumbing of Age, great webcomic, go check it out, or short pack. He said just mistransform this guy. There you go. He has a neck now. Granted, this is very loose, but still, its gravity is going to keep it down, and that looks good. You've got the space there. Now, I do have him with his um, fist, <laughs> his Power of the Prime gimmick on his back. You can just take that off. And even with all that, you've got a nice little Dinobot here. And I really like it. I love the clear parts. Very G1 reminiscent. I, I was very excited for this line, just because... Everything is very G1, very updated for everything, and you know, not too different from what we had. And this is this is really good. He's not very big. He is you know, kind of small. Um, here he is next to uh, his casemate Dreadwind, so you can see. And I, I like larger Dinobots because they were always larger than everybody else. He does have some Titans Return ports on here. So if you want to plug somebody on there, everyone get on the floor, everybody ride the dinosaur, you can do that. I won't be, and he's got ports for the Combiner's War, Com Combiner Wars gimmick that's coming with these guys. And I had his gun. I don't know what I did with his gun. Bam! It was hiding under my arm. So you did this very, very nice G1 rifle here. This is nice. I like this very simple. I kind of wish they had come with, because uh, Swoop comes with the sword but no gun. He comes with the gun, no sword. I like my Dinobots with swords and guns. Very Viking-esque. Well, not really. They just seem that way. You can plug that into the side here. He also has a port on top. You really want to make him look like a tank. Boom. And you've got the fist, which is the other accessory. Comes with this guy. Come out of there. It's got like little ratchets in there, or just detents. And you got a spiked knuckle fist, which like all the others, uh, like Dreadwind, he comes with a nice clear gun. I don't like the clear ones over uh, the painted ones, or the, the, not painted, but the colored plastic, they just look weird. Because you can't really tell the detail, and they do have quite a bit of detail on there. 
and you can plug that into his back like I had it earlier. I also like to take the gun, if you want to combine them both, put there, put it there, there you go. Looks like a Dino Rider, if you're that old and you remember that series. So yeah, not too bad. Now to transform this guy, I'm going to lock the head back in place. Because he's really easy to transform, really much harkening back to the, really much, that's a really great word, Jason. Uh, harkening back to the old school of Dinobots. Hard to believe I actually write for Cinelinks, because I talk like I'm... So, anyway, flip out his fist. I was going to insult myself when I stopped. Um, take the legs, put them back, and they're actually going to peg in a little bit later, but yeah, you can rotate them back. Take the tail, separate it, and actually I need to leave these up for this part. You want to take the tail and swivel it out at these hinges here. The uh, Going into robot, I mean dinosaur mode, it's kind of hard to get these tabbed in. You really got to get it in there. Take these, extend the legs down, and what you can do, there are these little panels in there that are going to serve as heel spurs. You take the legs and move them down, and that way you can get a hold of them. And I like that. It's a nice little touch. And then hold them to bring these back up, bring the tail in, swing it down, and it goes inside the leg, filling in the gap very nicely. You've got a little slot here. That's my phone doing things. Should have put that on silent. You want to take this tab in there and put it right into that slot on the leg. Same thing on the other side, rotate this down, bring the tail inside the leg, rotate this back up, and tab it in there. And there you have his feet and his arms formed, and now for the dramatic head reveal, you take his mouth and flip it down, and bam! There is Slug in his robot mode. Now there are a couple of changes. I miss the back wings on this guy, I do. Um, the head is really in there, and I, I'm pretty sure it does have some movement, but I can't get to it. I've tried to get my fingers in there. Like, you can move it side to side. See, I had to, but honestly, I'm afraid I won't get it back. And it's got detents to go to each side. But that's as far as it'll go, actually. You look in there, it's right against the mouth of the dinosaur. So he can get some head movement. Um, it's really in there. It's really in there. But yeah, nice looking robot mode, good red chest, you got the Autobot emblem right there. Legs get a little skinny, he looks very slim compared to uh, other Dinobots. And it sucks having them this small, but like I said, I miss my backpack wings, I do. On the back, everything's very uh, tidy, how everything just kind of goes into the legs. I mean, they're chunky, and then it moves into these skinny legs, but I like what everything does back here. And he does have a bit of a fat back here. There's a reason for that, but we'll get into that. Articulation, his legs will go about that far. You can see it's got a little cutout spot. So that's about as far as the knees will go. You got a thigh swivel, universal joints that'll go about that far and go forward and back. Uh, he does have waist articulation because he is a combiner limb, so you will need that later on. Ball jointed shoulders, pretty good range, bicep swivel, and uh, 90 degrees at the elbow. No wrist articulation, and we covered the head. He has it. And you can just put his uh, blaster into his hand there. And that looks good. I like that. I wish they were bigger. That's what she said. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I couldn't resist. I'm a child. Now, the uh, fist boob. Um, they're supposed to plug into the chest, but what you can do is you can take that and just put it on its back. And I kind of like it like that. But that's not how it's supposed to go. You take it and you... Plug it into his chest, and that would unleash the power of the primes. Now he's paired up with, I hit the camera, because I have the card, which I should have done that earlier, but the card got that nice artwork on there again. But on the back, you see he is paired with the Alpha Trion Slug. Uses his strength to stop conflict, not inside it. That does not sound like a Dinobot. That does not sound like a Dinobot, but cards, okay. Um, you can also take his... Uh, a little clear piece out, like I said, and put it into his hand, just like, just like with Dreadwind. All of them are going to have this. They're going to have that little clear gun. It does not look as great in clear, in my opinion, in translucent plastic. But like I said, if you don't want all the gimmick stuff, you've got a nice Dinobot here. That's, that's great. 
All the G1 purists, you don't have to go with the gimmick. You've got Dinobot here. Now, like I said, I am disappointed in the size, that's all. Here he is next to his casemate, Dreadwind. And they're exactly the same size. They're in that deluxe class. I mean, how cool would it have been, and I know this is, this is out of the realm of possibility, but if all the Dinobots had been Voyagers and then combined into their form. Yeah, I know I am really reaching there, but just, you know, consider it if you would. Anyway, we'll get Dreadwind out of here, but yeah, Dinobot Slug, it's not too bad. I like them as Dinobots. Grimlock's going to be so much bigger than these guys, which is going to be a little unusual, so yeah. And also, like I said, you know, you got the fist thing, and he has the Combiner War ports. If you've done any Combiner War stuff, I'm not going to get into the limbs and everything. There's his peg, and there's the port for the hand. Maybe when I get Grimlock, I'll actually do all that, but for now, they're just nice little figures without any of the gimmicks. Anyway, guys, these are out in the wild at Targets right now. DCPI should be on, should be out there. Go hunt for them. If they don't have them on shelf, they probably have them in back. And I even think some of the legends are starting to pop up, which hopefully we get a hold of those. Anyway, guys, I'm Jason X. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, check out CivilLinks.com and SCNS Live. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.